Hi Aries, welcome to your November He Said, She Said reading. Thanks for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. Aries, uh, let's take a look at your oracle cards for the month. From the, uh, the Cat Oracle, we've got the card of Truth. Now, what is it that you've been sitting on? Is there something that you've wanted to express to get out the truth? Now, it could be a truth about uh, a relationship. It could even be a truth about yourself. There's a, a feeling here around uh, being authentic, true to oneself. Now, Richard has also pulled, uh, well, actually a couple of oracle cards. Yes, uh, respectful and love. And this is for the person that you're, you might be dealing with, Aries. So it may be areas that you're, you've been looking to, for this person to show you some kind of respect uh, in this relationship. But let's, let's see where this is going. It can be reversed energy. So take whatever side resonates the most as you and uh, it's up to you to decide who's who in this scenario. So let's take a look here, Aries. We'll be doing a little bit of a different spread here. We've already been meditating on these cards. So let's get started with the reading. We'll start with past energy, move on to the present, near future, advice, Aries, what's happening in the environment, hopes and fears, potential outcome, what's hidden or unexpected, and the overall energy of the reading. Okay, past, present, future, advice or best path to follow, environment, hopes and fears, uh, the outcome, what's hidden or unexpected, and the overall energy of the reading. Let's take a look here, Aries. Look at that. Uh, I love it. Yeah. So that's the overall energy. Is Ace of Cups healing. I'm getting a very strong sensation around this of healing. A healing conversation possibly after an argument i feel like aries there's something that you had to get off your chest something that you had to say to this person you weren't feeling heard or you weren't feeling that this person was giving you your due you may have felt taken for granted but there's an overall energy here of deep love and respect and it's something that you've wanted to this person to show more of to you. All right, so looking over here at the overall energy, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. I like that energy because it's a kind of a slow energy, a little bit passive, but it's about planting a seed and then allowing to allowing it to be nurtured and allowing it to grow. So this is not something that is is going to be you know a quick burn you know and that, which is good in a way because it means that uh, you, both of you are willing to put the time in to make this make this work let's see what's happened in the past we've got the nine of pentacles in reverse areas it seems like uh, when it comes to the situation between the both of you i feel like you've had I feel both of you have had your eye possibly on um, money, uh, material concerns, jobs, career, more of the day-to-day uh, -day kind of stuff. But what's been missing is uh, an essential ingredient, something that had uh, was still very much there but was not being expressed or shown, and that's that's love. Okay, looking at the past here, we have the seven of cups in the reverse which looks to me like a narrowing of options mm -hmm. so i think the person you were dealing with aries had a lot of different options and now they're narrowing it down to to one i think that's you mm. they seem in a contemplative mood let's see presently we've got the star in reverse so around you aries i'm picking that up as you it's now you that feels some kind of hesitation. Some negative energy has crept into into this this well, how you're feeling about this person. Okay. Well, that's the thing when we talk about the 7 of cups being in reverse there and truth. 
this is about the truth about love and that it's not always a, a walk in the park it's not always those uh, romantic date nights and, and walking long walks on the beach and, uh, and and let's watch romantic movies together it seems like this is reaching a point here or has already reached a point Aries where you have uh, where you need to find that balance between realness day-to-day -day kind of stuff maybe even a little bit boring kind of stuff Aries and I know you're not really one uh, that likes boredom you, you tend to seek excitement uh, new so somebody here may have been seeking excitement new things but now has come to realize uh, that um, to have a real relationship one that's long-lasting uh, there's going to be lulls in the relationship where it's not always so super exciting let's just say that okay looking over here at the present we have the ten of cups in the reverse i get this as being especially with this seven of cups in the reverse is is that the person you're dealing with aries is probably divorced or has broken up with somebody who was in a long-term relationship with them mm. and that's part of what's given the opportunity here for you guys to to get together with that star in reverse I kind of see that also as doubt mm. so you know you this put you you're looking at this person saying oh gosh well it looks like they might have just broken up with somebody else mm. is it really the right time mm -hmm. to be pursuing this this mm. ace of cups mm. Yeah, I'm also getting that if uh, different things, but for some people here, I feel like you could be married to this person or in a long term relationship. And it's reaching that point where you, you could be considering leaving. Uh, there could be divorce on the table. Uh, let's see, near future, we've got the page of pentacles in the reverse. So there's no effort being made around this. Okay interesting so there's healing energy but what I'm getting around this is that the healing may be more about healing yourself I get that you may have gotten involved with someone where you kind of lost yourself you lost that part of you and you want to get that back and it's like you're looking at this person Aries thinking hmm you know I want I want my independence back uh, okay yeah I, I'm getting that very strongly we've got here the uh, the Queen of Pentacles in the future yeah I see this as a being a very respectful kind of nurturing mm. energy here Whatever's going to happen here, Aries, it looks like this person's willing to give you time. Yeah. Time to heal, time to to get to this, this Ace of Cups here. Mm. So this is going to be a slow process, especially with this Seven of Pentacles here. Again, it's that that willingness to, to take the time to nurture something. Mm. The the question the question is, Aries, what do you want to do? Do you want to actually put the effort in? And with that page of pentacles in reverse. I'm wondering if you actually want to bother at the moment it doesn't seem like you do I'm not saying that you're gonna feel this way all the time but it seems like at some point you felt possibly abandoned in this relationship like you had to do all of the work uh, there was a uh, there was a lack of equality with that ten of cups in reverse a lot of uh, I feel like a, a a lot of responsibility for the relationship lay on your shoulders Aries and now that you're kind of expressing your truth here to this person I feel like you've let this individual know how you feel and as a result of that they want to work on this long term they want to show you that respect and you're now the one that's doubting this whole situation yeah Queen of Swords in reverse uh, it's about taking some time to to get your head on straight because I feel that you might be I, I get a lack of trust some kind of trust that needs to be won back and I feel like this person is willing to put in the effort to regain your trust Aries 
we have the sun so you know, be optimistic be be a, be self-assured that you can be successful as person here it is that that's a change in attitude is what mm. I get here mm. positivity, positivity. Uh, that's what they need to that's what they need to show you and I think in the past this person might have been negative mm. they might have been a bit pessimistic a bit yeah. star in reverse mm -hmm. and now uh, you know, the, the best advice for them is to, to turn that around and, and be positive in the environment we've got justice in reverse yeah, it's that lack of uh, equality that I was picking up. It seems like um, this does feel like a karmic kind of relationship, one in which this person was meant to learn and grow from, well, how they've treated you, I feel. I feel that they've treated you unfairly. Uh, you had to put all of the, the effort in it wasn't working so there's elements around this areas of avoidance I get it as avoiding I feel like this person is trying to avoid their karma okay they're coming to you wanting to heal this but what's behind this is that they're avoiding something that they're supposed to go through okay Thank you, spirit guides. This person is, this is a healing relationship because they're meant to experience, I, I get, um, they're supposed to learn to respect. Uh, this is something that's going to teach them how to love properly. Um, wow. Uh, but they're trying to avoid that karma by um, wanting to heal it with you. Okay. I feel like this person has had a, a string of relationships that have failed, uh, possibly even marriages that have failed. Uh, and it's because they, there seems to be a lack of uh, respecting each other in the, these relationships. And also there's questions around how this person loves. It's by someone speaking out here that this is not working and that they're not happy that I feel the two of you have broken up, gone your separate ways. But this person is trying to avoid uh, some karmic justice here by wanting to, to heal this with you, like probably immediately. But there's something that they're supposed to be getting from long term that that they need to, I get, get independently of a relationship. Hmm. Okay. We have over here the lovers. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's that, um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. This is exactly what Michelle said. Yeah. So this person is, is trying to heal something mm. with you and then maybe they shouldn't. Mm. Yeah. I, I think that's, that's the overall message, isn't it? Right. This person wants to heal it, and maybe they shouldn't be trying to heal it. Maybe they should be trying to, to work on themselves. Yeah. Let's see. Hopes and fears, Aries. I've got the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like I said, it's not like you're completely closed off to this person. But at the moment, I get you saying no to them. It's not to... It's not that you're sitting there going, well, I'm going to teach them a lesson, right? Queen of Swords in reverse. It's not that. But there is something karmic here by you saying no to them. The other thing I get with that Four of Cups in reverse is your concern about their mental health. Okay. That a lot of what's going on here is for this person's good. Yeah, I think deep down there is that understanding, Aries. I think you know that it is for their benefit. But it's also somehow for your benefit too. Yeah. Yeah. So the the hope here, or the is the the Queen of Wands. Well, it's it's about confidence. Uh, Aries, that's that is one of your cards. Mm. And yeah, this this Sun here is about you know making mm. sure everything is out in the open as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm I'm actually feeling that that's probably more you, Aries. To be honest with you, it feels more like you're you're showing yourself self love and respect and teaching this other person to respect you as a result of that. But they're coming back to you before they've learned it, mm. the lesson fully. Right. And it's some kind of karmic thing that they're supposed to learn how to love you properly, respect you properly, but it's as a result of you doing the work for yourself. Uh, being self-sufficient, independent. I see that Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, both as you are uh, standing very strong, independent in your power, uh, doing things that um, you want to do. Not that you're going to completely close yourself off from this person, you're not, but I feel like you're just saying no to them for the time being until they learn this, uh, learn to respect you. Let's do what's hidden first. Let's hidden. Let's see what's hidden. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is slowly learning. They are. Yeah. It's a hard road though. It's a very yeah. hard road, but there's, they're getting there. So it's not that you're going to close. I feel like at some point in the future, this door will be open again. But there's a slow process of healing. I feel like they have to win your trust back. Okay, and what's hidden? Yeah, yeah. four of swords. It, you know, it's, it's time out. Uh, it's time to heal. Yeah. A time to time to work on oneself. That's a very passive energy. Mm. That and the seven of pentacles there. You know, this is a, this is hidden. This mm. is what this is what's going to have to happen. And the outcome, guys, the eight of cups. It's all about abandonment issues, is what I'm picking up. Well, the eight of cups here is about um, leaving, but leaving for the good of this person to. Yeah, it's, it's got something to do with abandonment issues, healing abandonment issues. Uh, this person, well, perhaps you both uh, have abandonment issues that you, that you need to, to work through. And it's somehow by... It's somehow by saying no to someone that leads them... Well, it, it kind of sets them off on the path that they need to, to go on, to, on this healing journey. Uh, but I get the, an energy of circling back at some point in the future once this person's learned this. But it's, it's some th kind of karmic lesson that they're trying to avoid, but they can't avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, the Page of Cups in reverse as being the, uh, the outcome. So this person will make overtures to you, Aries, if that's you, and you'll refuse them, at least initially. Initially, yeah, until, uh, it's like they'll, they'll go away, they'll, they'll come back, they'll keep trying. But, you know, you'll rebuff them. Uh, and, until. In the short term, until they've learned the lesson that they need yeah, to learn. Yeah, it, it's this, until they come back to you, uh, I don't know how they're going to prove to the, prove to you that uh, that they've learned this lesson. It's something, something that you'll know is what I'm picking up from spirit. Uh, but let's before we go to the extended, let's pull a card from the Oracle of Visions, and uh, we'll take this to the extended, guys. If this is your story, Aries, please do join us. Uh, the link for part two will be down below. Please join us there. Of course, for my Band of Gypsies channel membership members, you can uh, view them here on YouTube if you're at the uh, top tier level. Ways to join my Band of Gypsies, you can click on the join button for more information or look in the box for the link. If you'd like a personal reading done by me, uh, feel free to email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or go to my Etsy shop. The link for the store is down below. Take a moment now, uh, please, to press that thumbs up button. It really does mean the world uh, to the channel and to us personally. Leave us a comment down below. And of course, if you're a newcomer, please do subscribe. Uh, welcome. Uh, let's take a look here, Aries. Message for Aries. What does Aries need to hear? Let's see what we will be talking about more in the extended reading, of course, I'll be, we'll be clarifying. Richard will be doing some Lenormand cards and I'll be spilling some tea. So please do join us there. 
Okay, we've got this uh, this this card. Um, gosh, I don't know if I've ever gotten that card, but let, let's take a look. I'll have to look this one up in the book, guys. See what we've got: solitude, loneliness, and isolation. Yeah, I think that's more this person. I think it's both. Yeah, it could be both. Yeah. We all need some me time. Yes. Yeah, it's it's possible that you you know you two were involved in a relationship and you kind of got lost in each other. Yeah, losing losing, losing an identity. Yeah, one of you might have completely lost their identity to the other, and that that can happen. Yeah. And you know, both parties. Well, certainly one party usually recognises it before the other party does. Um, I, I kind of liken it to both parties being drunk, mm. and then one per, one party sobers up, but the other one's still drunk. Yeah. A solitary figure sits beneath a golden domed shelter, a raised island of solitude that is separate and distant from others of its kind. Their forms are mirrored in the silent waters below. Here she embraces her solitude which provides her with purity and clarity of thought. There are no distractions. Her book is empty. There is nothing to read or enter. Only passing thoughts are present which are released to float gently in the breeze and drift away. Yeah, you know, it's it's a um, there's an energy here of listening, listening to one's own inner compass. When we distract ourselves with a whole lot of outside things, you know, filling up a void, then we fail to learn the karmic lesson because it, we're just covering it up well I, I don't have time to, to focus on that because I've got this I've got that I've got that you know we all do it so there's an energy here of taking some time or needing to take some time in order to listen uh, to that inner compass and we can only truly hear that inner compass our true self only comes out in moments of solitude when we're constantly surrounded by other people they don't come out because we're, we're, we're concentrated on the other person uh, we're concentrated on how we look to the other person our true selves truth right this is about someone learning how to express their true self their authentic self but somebody doesn't want to see their their truth their authentic self someone's avoiding that truth the truth about themselves well you know it's one of those things where somebody here has to to go deep and look in the mirror but someone's been avoiding that <sighs> you know what there's healing energy though behind this once this person does this it could be you Aries could be the other individual could be both of you the need to do this but after that there is a um, I get a massive amount of healing and that's when this really lovely respectful beautiful relationship comes about it turns this ten of cups into the reverse that's when true happiness and contentment happens but only when this particular person whoever it is realizes the truth about themselves and is not afraid of the truth interesting well we'll talk about this more in the extended reading Aries I hope that you join us there again the link is down below thanks again for watching Aries please take care and bye for now bye Aries good luck